Hello, welcome to another Python tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and deploy a Python package using a cookie cutter template. Um, it only takes a couple minutes, and then you can have a package deployed on PyPI that anyone can use. Of course, it's going to take you some time to add some functionality to your to your package, uh, but you can focus more on what you want to do, and uh, everything else can be uh, automatically created and deploy so that you have a basic file structure for your package and also uh, automate with automatic deployment and also you can have a documentation website uh, up and running in just a couple minutes so here this is a cookie cutter template um, in the in last year I also did some tutorial on how to do that but the template was kind of outdated because uh, Python is deprecating the setup.py uh, packaging and uh, uh, right now we are using the Tomo, uh, Pi project Tomo file. So if you come here and look at this one, so we don't have the setup.py anymore. If you click in, you will be able to see some of the, the con uh, basic template. So I'm going to show you step by step uh, how to do that. Before we can create a package, uh, make sure that you can choose a, a good name for your uh, package. You need to go to the pipi.org because later we're going to push, uh, publish the package on here. If the name is already taken, you cannot use it. So I can maybe just try, let's say, hello, Geo, right? As long as the name is not taken, then I can use this name. So I'm going to use this one as a demo, uh, hello, Geo. Okay. And once you choose the name, then you can follow this uh, step by step on how to create um, Python package. So first, I'm going to go to my uh, downloads directory. Uh, I have some here. Let me delete this. Okay. So I'm going to open my terminal. Um, then you need to install the Python package. So I already have the conda environment called test. And first step, let me move this to the to the left on the right. So here uh, you can just copy paste. You only install the two packages. Uh, it's already installed, so I don't need to install again. Next step is to uh, clone this cookie cutter template to my computer. Again, copy paste. And it's going to ask you uh, if it is the first time, you will not see this one. If you have created the package before, you might see this one because it's downloading the repository to a computer. So I'm going to download the latest one. Then start from here. We're going to walk through the steps how to uh, provide the metadata information for your package. So I'm going to choose my uh, real name. Okay. And then you can provide your email. The github uh, username so make sure you have the github user id and this is the one that's very important so the project name is the one that we're going to publish on uh, pypi so make sure you choose a good name like i mentioned earlier i'm going to use the hello geo i will take this one you cannot take it so you need to come up with some other name so hello G uh, hyphen geo and the repo name you can choose it to be the same just accept the default hit enter and then the project uh, slack the Slack basically means this is the Python package when you are doing the Python coding import when you're importing a library. So importing, you cannot use a hyphen. You will need to be underscore or something. Uh, of course, you can choose a name without a hyphen or underscore. Then you'll be just uh, the name. For example, leaf map, G map, something like that. So just accept all the default settings. Then you can give a short description. You can say a Python package demo. Okay, hit enter. Then your PyPI username. So this is the one that uh, the account that you create here. So I'm going to enter mine, use the default. And the version for the initial one, we can just point 0.01. Uh, but later on, we can automatically bump the version so that we don't have to do the hard coding. Just accept the default settings. Um, and then enter, enter, enter. Then enter. You can choose the license. You can choose, for example, MIT license or any other license you like. Um, I'm going to choose the MIT. Then the default GitHub branch. It's either main or master. So for me, it's main. I'm going to hit enter. And then the Python version. So this one is like uh, when you're doing the GitHub actions testing, uh, there you can use this default 3.11 for doing testing. But your Python package can support more versions. And this is only for, us for uh, auto, uh, uh, continuous, continuous integration. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but was I keep uh, this option just to so that you don't you can uh, later on if it is 3.12 um, or 3.13 you can change it 
So just hit default and it's done. So if you come back to here, now you see we have this Python package template and this is the new file, okay? Py project uh, Tomo, if you open it, you should be able to see the basic content. Uh, and later on, I'm going to show you how to customize, but this is basically uh, where the dependencies come from and uh, some of the basic information, the name, uh, description here, and then um, it supports Python 3.8, uh, but you can change it if you want. So 3.8 to uh, 3.11. Uh, most of the things, you don't need to change it, so it's automatic. Okay? And this is the basic uh, file structure. Next, you need to create an empty... Uh, oh, oh, next, just do the... Uh, we initialize as a GitHub repository. Right now, there's doc, no doc .git folder yet, so it's not a Git repository. So I'm gonna come here, just type git init. Oh, you need to end uh, cd into the uh, the package. Okay, cd hello geo. Okay, once we're in here, then you just git init. Okay, it's done. So you see here, there's a git uh, repository here. So now this is the git a uh, git uh, doc git directory. Once you have this. Then you can um, just git add period. So we're going to get all the files to the staging area and then git commit this M and then you can just give a message. Okay, initial commit. Okay, done. So basically means we have commit all the changes into uh, git. Next step is to create a GitHub repository so that we can push the changes to uh, GitHub. And you can go to, for example, open here. And then click new, new repository. Then here, just choose maybe um, your owner. And then I'm going to give the same name, the repo name. Okay. Hello, Geo. Okay. And if you want, you can give a description, but don't change anything else. Don't click this. Don't click anything else. We just need an empty repository. So just click create. Okay. Then it's done. And the next step I would recommend is to go to the, um, here the settings and then go to actions general scroll down works workflow permissions so you want to check this one read and write permissions uh, because we want uh, to give up actions to do things on our behalf sometimes you need to write something so just click save okay it's all done then you can click back to this repository here so the next step will be is to just uh, add a remote to our local uh, repository basically link them together and then push the changes. So just copy the whole block and then come back to the terminal. Paste, hit enter. See, it has been linked and pushed. So if you come back to refresh, you should have all the source code right now uh, pushed to GitHub. As you notice, right now it's running all the GitHub, uh, the, the GitHub actions, automatic uh, um, testing. So I'm going to test the package uh, again against uh, 3. Uh, 3.8, 3.9, all the way to 3.11. We also testing it on Windows and also Mac OS. Right? So you don't have to have a multiple uh, operating system in order to test your package. We can utilize GitHub actions to do that uh, automatically. So this might, it depends on how complicated. Uh, it might take a couple minutes. You see here Linux is pretty easy and uh, it's still testing um, Mac OS and Windows. We also have a documentation. So anytime when you Put some something to your um, main repository. It's going to give build the um, website. So they they don't we can have, we can have a website automatically uh, creating and then we can use that for uh, the documentation. Next, let me go back to here. Uh, we read really finish this one and then push to GitHub. So the next step is to uh, create an API token. So that means later when we create a new release on here. We want it to be automatically published to PyPI, so we don't have to upload it uh, manually. And so, just follow the steps here. Um, we are going to get to create a new. Oh, you need to first like, create an API token. So go to your PyPI account, and then under account settings, scroll down. You should be able to see like API token. Uh, we have locked the blows, and so just click add API token. So this one here. So you can choose any name you like as long as it's not being used on under your account. But the name doesn't mat really matter. It's um, more important is here. So I'm gonna select entire account because we don't later on you can change to a specific account. Right now because the package doesn't exist yet. So you need to push the new package to here 
uh, I can just choose this one and then click create token. Okay. Um, yeah, I can create one. I'm going to, oops, uh, it's already used. I can say GitHub uh, demo. Okay. I'm going to delete the token. So later on, you cannot use. Okay. So right now, I'm showing you here. Uh, this is the token to uh, access my account. And it's also going to show you here how you're going to set it. Okay. The username. And also, this is basically, this is the uh, the password. Basically, it's this line. So go back to uh, the GitHub repository. Let me see if this is done. Hopefully, there's no error. Uh, it's still still testing that's fine so i'm going to go to the settings okay and then go to uh secrets actions come back to here new repository secret and so we're going to have two uh um, environment uh, uh github secrets the first first one is pi pi username so just copy and then come to oops come to here and the secret is not your username okay it's just the token so you need to copy this one, uh, underscore, underscore token. Make sure you don't enter your username, your PyPI username. It doesn't work, okay? Um, it doesn't support it. So, add secrets. And then the next one is PyPI password, underscore password. I'm going to add this one here. And then you can copy this one. So, copy this from here. And um, come back to here. If you want, you can save this one to your uh, somewhere, keep it, but don't share it with anyone else um, because nobody's, uh, they, 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 they can access to your account and, and may stop your packages. Okay. And paste this one. So PyPI, blah, blah, whatever. Add secrets. Okay. Then it's done. So we can actually right now create a new release. This is still finishing up, but you see the website is actually done now. And let me show you how to enable website settings and i'm going to go to um, pages here select the branch so github pages click save and then you should create a new website so if you go to actions the, uh, after this one is done uh, you should be able to see uh, the new website we will come back later but for now let's create a new release so how see how you can automatically release to PyPI. so come back to here um, create new release and so right now we don't have any uh, version yet so it, it don't really see anything we, it's fine you can just create a new one so earlier we choose a uh, uh, v0.0.1 okay the new release and you can do the same thing here the title 3.001 okay and you can say generate uh, release notes so in the future when they are pull requests uh, this will automatically generate the release notes for now i can just enter simple message initial release okay and then click publish release then come back to github actions you will see from here uh, v.01 and if you click deploy so this is going to run, uh, run the github actions it will be automatically deploy um pipi Hopefully, you'll be done very, very soon. Uh, no errors. And we can see that. And the next one I want to show you is the, the website. Let me see if we can finish quickly. And in the future, it will be automatic. So whenever you create a new release, uh, you will be, you'll be uh, uh, released to PyPI automatically. Okay, you see, it's done. Uh, everything uh, runs successfully. And if you want, you can click the link here. PyPI, the project, Hello Geo 0.01. And... Voila. So once this one appear on here, then anyone can use this to install the package. It might take a couple minutes. Sometimes uh, uh, it's not available immediately. But right now I can um, simply, for example, copy this person, pi pi. You don't need to space by the version. You will always install the latest version. So if you come to here, I will have my contact environment activated. I can just pip install, hello geo. And if you hit enter, you see, so now we are installing this package from the PyPI package index. It's, um, it's in here now. And after that, you can test it. So I can get into the Python environment. I can say import hello. So make sure it's underscore, right? As I mentioned earlier, this is the project slack. It's basically your project folder. And then you see it's done. So it's imported successfully. That means right now the package is available here. And last step, let's enable the uh, GitHub pages. 
here, you see now we have the URL. And if you open it, right, we have this website, Hello Geo. And under account, of course, you need to uh, add some functionality, but at least you have a skeleton. So you have the website up and running in a couple minutes. And if you want, you can also put this one under your project description. So about here, you can add that uh, Python package demo. And you can use your GitHub pages website. Um, if you don't like the backslash at uh, the forward slash at the end, you can remove it. And then you can add some topics if you want. So there. All done. So this is the first initial release. And you're welcome to add functionality. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, uh, I'm going to go to my directory and then I'm going to open using Visual Studio Code. So you can get uh, make some simple changes uh, quickly. So here, I'm going to go to Hello Geo. And then how about, for example, under this is the main module. You can also add more stuff. Okay, I can say um, EF Hello um, what's that? Hello and then I can give you a name, right? I can provide name, right? Hello name in the console, print something like this and then enter. Okay. So you can basically add functionality into your package. And after you're done, then I can come to here. I can say I uh, add a new function. Hello. Okay. Then control enter. Um, it's done. And you can just simply think. You open the GitHub repository, you will be able to see it's updated. Now we have this new one. It's been running. Of course, you you can also use the pull request. So once you add some new functionality, now we can actually create a new version. So here shows you the instruction. Uh, you can see if you bind a new version to see what changes it's going to make. Um, so you can have a dry run. Just copy this one and then come back to your repository. Again, I'm going to open my uh, terminal here. Control C, Control D. Okay. So you can just copy this one paste just to see what it changes is going to make. Uh, oh, oh, you need to uh, bump version. So earlier is 0.001. I'm going to bump to 0.002. So there's basically a pitch. Uh, if you bump to point, uh, point 0.1, it's a binar. If you bump to 1.0, it's a major. So I'm just going to use a bump pitch. Okay. And then hit enter. This is it's going to show you what file is, is going to change. And at least you make sure that everything works uh, properly. So right now it's 0 0.01, right? It's going to change to uh, 02. And this is the changes it's going to make before and after. Right? This is before, this is after. So everything looks uh, correctly. And let's do it. Okay, so run it again. Remove the dry run and then just hit here done so if you want you can actually check that in um, visual studio call here and if you go to init.py you see it has been changed to point oh two and similarly in the tomo file all the file has been updated automatically so you don't have to do manually changes once you are done with this one just um, follow the instruction again just git push the text and also git push so come to here git push text and see the point two has been pushed to GitHub and then git push. All done, right? So come back to see here. Now we can make a new uh, um, uh, new release. So you can also see that from the history, right? Click here and you might need to see we add a new function and we also bump the new version. This is automatic. So you can see all the files have been changed uh, automatically. Next step is to go to make a new release. Come to the release again and then click text. So this time you should be to see this one because we use the bump version to create a new tag automatically and then just create create new release so here just enter the same one 3.02 okay and um you can say second release you're welcome to join some nodes if you want to but there's not really much in here because there's no pull request and that's done. So publish release. Again, look at the actions. 
So once it's done, it's released to Pi PI automatically. And that's the beauty of using GitHub Actions to do automatic release. And if you notice any like uh, errors here, you might need to fix it. But uh, it, this is right now, it's pretty simple. There's not really much going on here. And you can um, just take it one. So if you really want to build on top of package, there are two files you need to pay attention. The first one here is the requirements.txt. And this is where you add additional uh, requirements, your Python package dependencies. So just hit enter and then you can enter, for example, pandas, whatever package that you want to use, gmap, gmap, or whatever. So, and then you can go to your source code to import those libraries. So you need to do the testing, you need to do uh, all kind of stuff. And also, if you want to add some uh, optional dependencies, you can open the TOMO file, and this is where you add the optional dependencies. So this is where you, when user like do the pip install. So for example, here I can show you, right? I can say pip install hello geo, and then uh, square bracket, right? So here we can do like extra, right? You can have multiple uh, optional. Basically, this is the, just a identifier. I can say extra. Uh, you might need to have double quotes wrap around this one. Yeah. And then hit enter. So you see this one is going to install pandas because I listed pandas in the extra here. And now we have pandas installed automatically. You are welcome to add more. Now, so add the dependencies and then you want to do your source code. So add functionality to your source code. Then limit the changes, bump the version, push to GitHub and then create a new release. So let me come back to uh, here. You see, it's done. And we go back to the uh, Hello Geo here. You should see uh, version 0.02 available. So let me remove this one here. You see, so right now we have Hello Geo 0.02. And if we go to the release history here, so we don't have to deal with uh, PyPI directly. Everything can be handled by um, GitHub Actions. And once you release a new version, right, you can you can update it, right? So I can pip install, even uppercase U, and then hello geo, it should be able to install the newer version, you see, pretty quick. And then you can test the functionality. So earlier I add this function in here, like uh, in the comments, and use the command line. You can waste, you can use new notebook if you want. So Python, and then import hello geo, okay. Um, or from hello geo import uh, hello okay. or from hello geo dot common because it's under the common module and then I can just hello then ooh, uh, I have a post in here Mike for example See? hello Mike so it's actually calling the function so everything is working uh, properly so this is how you create a package at the whole workflow. As you can see, if you really want to have a package up and running, you can do it basically within uh, five minutes. And then your package is available. You can have the website documentation. If you open this one, you should also be to see it should be automatic. So if you go to um, where the API reference, right, the comments module, and this is all built automatically. So the function that we added earlier, hello, you can also see the source code here. Yeah, right. Pretty nice. So you can add more modules. Uh, eventually, you're going to have a website, something like this. So if you look at GMAP, right? So this is quite complicated. But if you look uh, the appearance, they look exactly the same. You just uh, create notebook and then add more modules. So right now, you see this one has a lot of uh, modules in here. You can also add notebooks. So they allow user to um, look at your source code. You can also do the execution. I'll be teaching a course, uh, Geographic Software Design. Uh, starting uh, in, in two weeks. So if you're interested in you can follow. But this is basically uh, something I want to get it done before the new semester because we are going to use this new template to create uh, Python packages. As you can see, everything works smoothly. You're welcome to try it out. And uh, lastly, I'm going to go back to my token here. I'm going to remove it. Like no one can um, use my token. Okay. And that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.